Okay, uh, good afternoon, good uh, evening, good morning. Uh, people are calling in from all over the world. So I want to welcome all of you to this call this afternoon uh, here in Canada. Um, my name is Charles Nebeze, and I'm the Vice President of Business Development and Commercialization with the Center for Excellence in Mining Innovation. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to this uh, webinar topic, end-to-end -to -end optimization across the mining value chain uh, by a company called Sensital, which is actually um, based out of Australia, but has uh, some significant inroads into, into, into Canada. Um, my name is, um, I guess, my, my presenter's name is uh, Simant Ahuja, and he's the founder and the managing director of Sensital um, Limited, and he is going to take over from now on. Uh, go ahead, Simant. Thank you, Charles. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here this afternoon. Over the next 15, 20 minutes, I will share a little bit about Sensital review some challenges facing the mining industry and discuss how a technology like IoT can be applied to help with optimizing mining operations. We founded Sensital a few years ago with the goal to bring to market an easy to use, highly configurable, interoperable and scalable IoT platform that helps enterprises to be truly connected and intelligent. We are able to deliver this promise with the help of our enabling enterprise IoT technology that can model complex interactions between physical assets and digital systems using simple process flows. The idea was to minimize two major blockers in the adoption of this enabling technology. That is time to market and unclear ROI. What I would also like to do is spend the last 10 minutes in giving an actual demo of the technology and see some of the solutions which we are going to discuss during the presentation. We have applied our founding principles in number of different industry verticals. All of these solutions are directed towards extracting operational efficiencies by making right contextualized and relevant information being made available to business operational processes at the right time. We will see how we can apply similar concepts in mining industry as well, across the operations from pit to port. As we look to enable mining 4.0, some of the challenges that face the mining industry caused mainly by depleting natural resources and increased focus on safety and environmental impacts include operational process inefficiencies, worker safety, material handling, energy consumption, and capital asset management. From a technical perspective, challenges associated with network and device connectivity, real-time access to operational information for monitoring key operational metrics, initiating timely alerts, or control actions and optimizing operational processes can be a few challenges in that space. Looking at digitization and modernization of mining operations from prospecting to production to closure, key areas of opportunity for operational efficiencies include cost effective material handling, process automation to improve mine operational efficiency, increased worker safety, higher level of regulatory compliance and reporting, high utilization of capital intensive assets. By applying IoT principles, Sensital can help you build a digital twin that can be used to bridge the gap between your operational technology and information technology. By enabling bi-directional information flow, facilitating smart decisioning, and initiating intelligent control actions. We can apply this technology to help with easily monitor mine conditions and initiate control actions to improve quality and turnaround time, optimize asset management through predictive maintenance, increase utilization and extract operational efficiencies, 
Improve safety and security of your mine workers, ensuring that they are at the right place at the right time through geofencing, tracking, and notification kind of methods. Minimize regulatory and compliance concerns through automated detection of regulatory breaches, incident logging, and reporting. The beauty of Sensitive's platform is that you don't have to be at the starting line of your mining 4.0. You could be in any stage of your digitization journey and still can leverage Sensital to help you go beyond the next level quickly and easily. Whether you are just at the starting with a small project and a tactical point solution or building a strategic plan for a fully automated cross-functional integrated business all establishing a matured digital center of excellence. Sensital understands the challenges faced in each of these stages and help you address them. Hence, iBotics, which is Sensital's technology, can become the unified IoT platform for every stage. When Sensital's iBotics platform you can get started with your first tactical solution in three easy steps. Get a quick tangible win and go all the way to the KPI driven longer term digital sustainability with the same enterprise grade platform, fully capable of supporting you through the maturity of your mining 4.0 digital program. The three stages can be summarized like this. Step one is define assets. So as a one-time activity, we onboard all your physical assets uh, according to a flexible hierarchy and a deep, deep taxonomy. As a step two, we sit down with your business and operations members to identify what are the different ways in which we can interact with the assets, uh, what kind of intelligence can be built in, what decisioning will be needed, and hence what actions can be triggered. Once those actions are triggered, we can con configure those actions to be shown in different interfaces like mobile or emails, SMSs, or your uh, desktop dashboards. Let's look at some examples and solutions that we have built all on the same platform. Hopefully you will get an idea of the capabilities, flexibility and configurability of the platform. Sensital has built this material handling solution that has a strong use in the mining industry to monitor, control and optimize the material handling process. We can monitor where the resources are and if they are being utilized optimally by the shift tracked at every stage in each trip. The system can automatically detect the shift and the trip start and completion. It can enable controls for schedules, route planning, and capacity for different hauling trucks based on different events and situations. It can also optimize the resources being deployed for the hauling process based on the real-time visibility of the process. As part of our industrial IoT offerings, Sensital has built a solution where we can easily configure any equipment or machinery for this digital twin, associate it with the right KPIs, and configure the control that can help in operating it remotely. What we see here is an example of the digital twin of a welding robot being used in a manufacturing company. Similarly, any asset or equipment can be monitored and controlled for its condition and performance. We have built an asset tracking solution where on a single platform, we are able to track, monitor and control different types of assets together, giving us the opportunity to link the events seamlessly into the business processes rolled out in different enterprise systems such as ERP, asset lifecycle management systems, et cetera. 
Here's another example of a solution where we have built an energy management solution where we can monitor the usage pattern in real time. The same solution can be extended for managing the condition of power, power plant or the microgrids being used at the mine sites to build optimized supply of energy. In conclusion, here is what we offer to you. A comprehensive technology that is customizable, scalable to your business needs and your maturity levels, and finally supported by a strong domain expertise. In order to deliver this, we have iBotics, the technology, which is feature rich comprising of these many features. So with at this point, I'll be gladly moving on to the demo of our technology so that you can actually get a feel of how the solutions look like and what it takes to build these kind of solutions. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm logging on to a solutions portal where Sensitel's different solutions that are rolled out to uh, different customers can be seen. So the first, the first solution that we discussed during the presentation was the material handling solution. Now what you see on your screen are the set of trucks that are taking the material from the origin and offloading it at the destination marked by the geofences. Each truck can be tracked into what trip ID that the truck is currently uh, into which shift it is operating into while delivering this uh, trip, how much ideal time it has clocked till now. And we are continuously monitoring the matrix of this truck in terms of average utilization uh, uh, from month to date and average number of trips that this truck has done per day. These numbers can be compared on the right hand side with the overall plants uh, matrix. So the average utilization of all the trucks that are operating in the plant put together can be compared to this specific truck. And we can tell that this is slightly underperforming than the average. Similarly, we have other metrics to go along with it. Now, if you want to particularly pay attention to any one truck, we can also get down to uh, replay mode. And we can say that, for example, uh, since it's past midnight, uh, uh, let me take the previous day or uh, let me take this day and, and show you how, how the replay functionality works. Sorry, did it get clicked? Yeah. So what we what we are seeing now is a replay of how our trucks have been operating on a specific day in a specific shift. All we have to do is click on the play, and I'll just pause it at this point. So what it's showing me all the trucks they started off from a certain position. For example, this is a truck that we want to track. It says that it's coming from the origin. Its uh, status is on job. It's in the currently shift number one because that's what we have selected and the idle time is zero on it. If we just resume it, all the status updates of this truck, we, we can monitor how it performed, if it stopped anywhere in between, how much time it took for the trip, so on and so forth. So this particular truck is now about to get to the, and the status has changed to destination. 
and the status has now become available. Sorry, the, the, the location has changed to destination and the status has changed to available. So this is how we can control the operations and, and check the workflow and figure out how efficiently we are operating with respect to each other and according to the standards that we've set. The other thing that I would like to highlight is an alert mechanism. On this alert me mechanism, we can highlight different alert types. The one that has been configured is an idle time. Uh, the business rule behind that is every time the, the trucks uh, uh, take a stop for more than two minutes, it gets triggered as an event and uh, automatically sent out here. When this number get, becomes uh, very high, that's the time when the supervisors or the operators can take notice of that and figure out what happened by uh, uh, looking at the trip replay to see what, what were the reasons behind the delay, right? The third thing is uh, we can, we can configure any number of geofences in order to control our workflow. Each of these geofences can be configured with the events associated with it. And accordingly, we can set the status that we want our trucks to be in should they enter the geofence and should they leave the geofence. So, so that's pretty much the uh, uh, solution. Uh, for material handling. Similarly, we have energy management solutions, the asset tracking solutions, and so on and so forth. Important is to know how we can develop these solutions on Sensitals technology. So let me jump over to the iBotics platform where all of this is stitched together. Like I had mentioned in the presentation, uh, to build any solution, it's a three-step approach. In the step one, we configure all the digital uh, physical assets uh, in using our device management and administration. Once those assets have been configured and onboarded, as a step two, we sit down with the business team and the operations team members to identify what are the different innovative ways in which we can interact with these assets in order to generate intelligence and maturity and efficiency into our processes. So the example that we saw was uh, the plant monitoring for material handling. And let's quickly see. By the way, these are the different interactions which have been modeled and on the single platform, we are able to model so many different solutions, so many different use cases that uh, uh, slowly but surely we can start from a tactical point solution and go all the way to uh, uh, you know, more matured cross functionally integrated scenarios, right? Let's quickly look at how, what it takes to stitch a solution for material handling. What you see on your screen here is the modeled interaction, which is doing two jobs. First, it's getting the data from the trucks, the real time location data, contextualizing it with and enriching it further with details such as shift ID and trip IDs and collectively putting that information into live tracking system so that it, it can be tracked. Once it's done this job, the second part of this interaction is to take some decisions. In this decision, it's trying to figure out if there is any uh, idle time trigger happening. The moment the idle time happens, it, uh, it would generate an action uh, into straight into the uh, incident management or the alert management system saying that this truck at this particular location and point in time had stopped over for X minutes, right? All this calculation is happening here. 
Now, what it takes for us to build this particular interaction, simple drag and drop from here, uh, build this particular interaction and keep configuring it. For example, I just double click this and this is how we are telling the engine that get me the data from the devices from the truck and uh, map it to my uh, internal process variables. This is where I'm telling that, go and get me the information about uh, what is the lat long and what is the date time, the uh, uh, timestamp, et cetera, of this, this information. This is the data I'm giving to the external system. And in return, I'm getting information on the truck ID, the trip ID, the geofence ID, the status of it and all these calculations that we are doing just by invoking one single API. Uh, similarly, we are uh, doing some decisioning out here and we are uh, triggering an action in the alert management system saying that, you know, we just figured out that an alert has happened and we are sending that alert to you, right? Now, the, the good part about this, this platform is we may keep on, we may want to keep on changing our business requirements because we want to make it better and more matured every now and then. So let's say that this decision is a straightforward decision that every time a truck stops for two minutes, it should do this. What if we want to introduce levels of escalation. If it's for two minutes, do this. If it's for five minutes, do something else. If it's for 10 minutes, that's a level three escalation, do something else. I just drag it here and level three is here, right? And all I'm saying is instead of doing this, go there. Instead of this, go there. And, and I may say that I may need one more end node there and finally right now what we have done is we have just created a framework of introducing or modifying our uh, workflow and in order to do that we have introduced two more levels now if the condition is true that means it's more than two minutes then go and check whether it's greater than five or not if it's not then you continue to do this part right but if it's true, that means it's also greater than five, but still not greater than 10, that means stay in the level two only and do something else. But if it's beyond, then just do something else. So we can keep on configuring and the way we configure business rules is like this. So here we are taking, a, we, are, we are calculating the number of seconds, dividing it by 60 and making it, converting that into minutes out here. Uh, it's as simple as writing your business rules as you can see on your screen, right? No coding needed, no, just by using configurations, we can achieve that. We can extend our flow to any level. So I hope this particular demonstration uh, could give you a high level glimpse of what it takes to build a solution on Sensitil's platform and uh, you know how easy it is to configure and extend it uh, as and when needed. So let me jump back to our presentation. Uh, and I think we are pretty much done. Uh, just a time check. Yep, we, we have a few minutes for questions. Uh, Charles, over to you at this point. Yes, thank you so much uh, for, the, for the presentation. Um, uh, Simant. And, you know, one thing I forgot to mention, you know, at the beginning of Simant's presentation is that, you know, there is a migration of technologies that are traditionally not addressing the mining sector, but have got the, the their platforms that have got everything necessary to actually transform mining. And so sensitive technology, you know, has inroads in manufacturing, utilities and, and healthcare, and uh, there is an application of this technology in, in the mining industry. So moving on to the first question, and again, please feel free to enter questions on the chat box here. Uh, one of the questions here, Simant, is concerning standards, okay? And so the question is talking about how, 
you know, there are standards that address batch process control, like, you know, the uh, ANSI uh, 88 and also uh, the PEC ML, which is another industry technical standard for control of uh, packaging machine, machinery machines, uh, ETC. And so the question is, um, uh, how does this relate to mining? Is, does mining use the same standards? That's, that's the question. Sure, thanks and glad someone asked this question because uh, it gives me an opportunity to address this very important point to the entire forum. Uh, uh, Sensital, uh, while onboarding its assets, there, is, there, there are a few series of configurations that are needed to be done. Again, no coding, just configuration. As part of the configurations, we are able to handle any kind of payload that the that the asset or the devices are capable of sending through now these payloads could be in the form of xmls jsons strings ascii decimals hexadecimals or binary in any format basically so with that what i'm trying to say is that we are agnostic of uh, uh, payload types and hence we are capable of configuring any standard uh, formats in which we receive the information from the devices or information has to be sent to the devices using our template based approach in configuring these standards is the way to go uh, and and that makes us agnostic of these standards Excellent. in our yeah in our utilities we have successfully handled uh, many many standards Okay, thank you very much for that answer, Simat. Uh, the next question is, I don't know, I think you may have already said, started to answer this question, but which telemetry suppliers, uh, OEM or third party, do you integrate with? And some of the examples given here, um, you know, do you integrate with Caterpillar? Do you integrate with Sandvik? Do you integrate with uh, Nutrax uh, or, or Symbioticware? So the question here is about telemetry suppliers and which ones of those do you integrate with? Sure. So uh, again, uh, uh, partially this was answered in my previous question. Mm -hmm. Now, what I couldn't cover for the paucity of time and I'll be very happy to deep dive uh, on specific interests. Uh, you know, the details are on the screen. Uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, however, Sensital as a step one in the three step approach that we have, as a step one, we onboard the assets. Now, for onboarding the asset, we are interoperable. Uh, we are completely interoperable. That means we, we are agnostic of the uh, communication protocol, data protocol, and the payloads. So that makes us uh, having a unique competitive advantage where we can talk to any or integrate with any type of assets, be it Caterpillar or uh, you know any other company. And even if in the same mining assets, we are using assets from different suppliers, uh, uh, we can still bring them, break those silos, bring them on a common operations platform and track it like, like any other asset. All right. Okay, so thank you for that. Um, another question that I have here, and we've got about another minute to go. Um, and the question here is, uh, so far in, in your, your efforts to sort of uh, integrate with the mining industry, what would you say has been your primary challenge in uh, trying to, to enter the mining sector? Uh, well, you know, like like Charles clarified, uh, we we are we are trying to apply our learnings from manufacturing, utilities, and uh, transportation and logistics into the mining industry. We we see a lot of uh, common ground, and we we are also aware that you know, there are some unique challenges which are specific to this industry as well. So being that wearing the technocrats hat, mm -hmm. we are happily 
willing to give the technology to the mining industry co create the value with the partners or with the customers and as you have seen the the technology has lot of flexibility uh, we can quickly enable solutions uh, and we can uh, build those solutions together now coming to the question which is specifically around the challenges one of the challenge areas in the mining i would say is the the remote nature and the connectivity with these devices you know considering the deep digging and the uh, sometimes signals become an issue and all that so so in order to overcome these things the technology has really moved on in uh, you know the in a much a uh, faster pace and we can now overcome those challenges as well excellent excellent uh, and and thank you for the for the answer uh, and folks you know just in terms of respecting our time it is now 1:30 uh eastern day time here and i would like to thank you all for participating on the webinar i am going to give simant the last uh, words to say to you before we we end the presentation thank you for participating uh, simant go ahead Sure. Thank you so much, uh, uh, everyone. It was such a pleasure, and thanks for being here today with us. Uh, 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 I hope we were able to do the justice in the limited time that we had to give you a feel of what this uh, enterprise-grade technology is and what it can do. Uh, we'll be more than happy to have specific discussions based on your. imminent challenges in hand and you know should you think that uh, there is any specific interest and we need to have further discussions uh, we are always available the the contact details are on your screen please feel free to reach out to us hey thank you have a nice day everybody you take care all right thank you everyone bye now bye bye